Happening today, Pasco County School Board leaders are going to vote on whether to change school start times. This has been really controversial, but uh, district officials say this is the best way to deal with the school bus shortage in the county. Our Vanessa Ariza live at Pasco County School Board this morning with what this means for parents. Uh, good morning, Vanessa. Some obstacles in the way here for sure. Yeah, to say the very least, good morning to you, James and Dia. You know, this problem doesn't just fall on the shoulders of Pasco County school leaders. In fact, this is a nationwide problem, just to add insult to injury. Now, to be very clear here, Pasco County Superintendent Kurt Browning, he says he is not a fan of this move. As Dia said, very controversial and very confusing here. But Browning went on to say that trying to find solutions and bus drivers like monetary incentives, job fairs, even waiving the background check fee for applicants simply didn't work. The final proposed board members will vote on this this morning. It would change the three bell tiers to four bell tiers. In a YouTube video to parents last month, Browning noted this proposed change is not ideal, but said the alternative is even worse. This acute shortage is that many of our students are late arriving at school in the morning, which results in loss of instructional time. And they are late arriving at home in the afternoon and early evening, which puts a strain on families. And Browning said that changing school start times during a school year is nothing unusual. What makes this unusual is the fact that it would happen mid-year if that is if that proposal rather is approved later this morning. Of course, we'll keep you updated. And if it does move forward, that would go into effect on January 4th. Live in Pasco County this morning, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.